Hey guys, welcome back and today I want to talk about iOS 13 beta 4 as well as iOS 13 developer beta 3 and when we can expect Apple to release these updates for the iPhone. Now before we do begin in this video, I want to cover two things, the expected release date for these new betas as well as new features and changes that we're all hoping, not just myself, we're all hoping for Apple to bring to iOS and we'll get to those towards the end of the video. But first we're going to be talking about expected release dates for iOS 13. I'm really looking forward to iOS 13 in September when the new iPhones get released, but we know that this year's iPhones are not gonna be that big of an upgrade. It's all about the software this year, and Apple needs to bring as many features and changes to improve the user experience, I believe, with iOS 13 in order for this year's iPhones to be great. So before we do begin, I wanna give a shout out to our sponsors, Raid Shadow Legends, a brand new collection RPG game that's definitely taking the mobile gaming landscape by storm. Almost 10 million players worldwide have already downloaded this game within just three months. Now I've personally started playing the game, I'm definitely enjoying the game, it has great graphics, awesome strategy gameplay, huge boss fights which I enjoy a lot, and amazing storyline with over 400 champions for you to collect and also personally customize. My favorite one definitely, definitely has got to be Gallic because of his skills and I really think he's cool. Look at that awesome mohawk. And by the way, the game is free to play, so you can enjoy the game absolutely free with over 58 ratings and reviews in the Apple App Store. Rate has almost a perfect score of 4.8 stars. New update currently available for the game in the App Store, and there's a new awesome loyalty rewards program for new players. Get a new daily login rewards for the first 90 days in the game. Can you believe that? So what are you guys waiting for? Check out the links in the description, click the special link, and get 50,000 silvers and a free Epic Champion as part of the new player program. Start playing and start your journey with Raid Shadow Legends. So when can we expect iOS 13 developer beta 4 to be released by Apple? Well, let's go back into the calendar here. And if history is any indication, here is when we can expect Apple's next iOS 13 developer beta 4. And then we'll talk about the public beta 3 as well. So Apple released iOS 13 beta 1 on June the 3rd. Two weeks later on the 17th, we saw beta 2. Two weeks after that, on July the 2nd, we saw Beta 3, but Beta 3 had a few issues, so they had to do a re-release on July the 8th for Developer Beta. So where does that leave us for the next iOS 13 Developer Beta 4? Well, if history is any indication, we should see iOS 13 Developer Beta 4 on the week of the 22nd. So anywhere from the 22nd to the 25th, I would say, is when we can expect iOS 13 Developer Beta 4. Now at this point, public beta testers, you'll see a new beta after the Developer Beta a day or two after the release. So if Apple releases Developer Beta 4 for iOS 13 on the 22nd or 23rd, you can expect the public beta on the 24th or the 25th, no later than that. Apple is starting to ramp up on iOS releases for iOS 13, we could see as many as eight, maybe even nine, in some cases even 10 betas before this software goes officially out to the public. But there's a few changes that I'm hoping Apple brings and I'm sure you guys hope that these changes do come as well. Starting with the incoming call UI, this pretty much keeps your iPhone hostage. When you get an incoming call, you can't really do anything, right? So this has been a big complaint for iOS users for many, many years now, and Apple definitely needs to change this. So when you get an incoming call, wouldn't this be a lot nicer? This little platter here up at the top that drops down, sort of like the menu here when we hit the mute switch, see how that drops down? That would be pretty cool. So if an incoming call will drop down from the top just like that, you can either swipe it away or swipe down for more information, remind me later, or accept, decline, or swipe it away to ignore it. That would be the perfect scenario for me for an incoming call on the iPhone. I think Apple should definitely push this sooner rather than later. I mean, iOS 13, again, this year is gonna be all about the software, so Apple needs to push as many changes and awesome features for this year's iPhone to work, in my opinion. So a new incoming call UI is almost a must with iOS 13, at least that's what I believe. Let me know what you think. Now, another change that I'm hoping for Apple to bring to iOS 13 in the upcoming betas is a brand new Siri user interface. As it stands right now, Siri takes up the entire display. And this is useful because it does provide a ton of information at a glance, but some users prefer a platter or a notification style card here. As you see, the one that I mocked up, it shows you some of the information, but you can also swipe down for additional information. So. 
some users may want to take notes of some of the information provided by Siri. So Siri alongside other applications in a form of platters for multitasking, I think it's definitely a great idea. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I think Apple should definitely do something like this, non-intrusive, but also have the option for users to either choose this or the current taking up the entire display. Just give us options. And I know I'm pushing the limits here, but one more request that I do have for Apple, and that is picture within picture. Now for that, I'm bringing in my jailbroken iPhone. We've been doing picture in picture for years on jailbroken devices. Why can't we do this on the iPhone just yet? Maybe you wanna watch a video on Safari or you want to exit out of a video on Safari, just have it floating around on the screen while you're browsing social media. So for example, here's an, a video at Apple's website, detach it, go back to the home screen, continue doing what I'm doing and I can still watch the video right there. So picture within picture, something that's definitely should be possible on the iPhones and not limited to uh, certain iPhones. I think Apple should bring this to all iPhones in iOS 13. It doesn't matter the size of the display. I don't want any users to be left behind. Apple can definitely deliver on something like this where you can just use your iPhone while watching a video. Android users have been doing this for quite some time and iPhone users on jailbroken devices have also been doing this for quite some time. So why not bring this to the iPhone? Again, as I mentioned, this year is all about the software and Apple really needs to deliver on a true awesome iOS experience for the iPhone. Let me know your thoughts. Is there anything else you would like for Apple to change in future betas? Again, guys, iOS 13 developer beta 4 will most likely be dropping on July the 22nd or the 23rd if history is any indication. Of course, I'll be covering that here on the channel. Thank you for watching today's video and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.